One of the questions I often get since moving to Germany is how do you get to the grocery store without a car? In most cities in Germany, there are many supermarkets within a few hundred meters of residential areas. There are several large supermarket chains throughout Germany and also small local grocers or kiosks. So you can actually go without a car. Bike life. And then the next question is, what are grocery stores like? And that is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go to a couple of supermarkets and we're gonna show them a little bit, but also check out some weird items that are super normal in Germany, but maybe not in your country. Our first stop is a local Lidl, which is a German supermarket that has many locations around the world. One thing that you'll usually find in Germany is a fund or a deposit machine to return your cans, cases, and bottles. All right, first things first when you're in a supermarket in Germany, the fun. You return your empty bottles because they are just rented. It's a party in there. <laughs> Woohoo! Some from our beer video, which uh, looks like they're not taking. No! Come on. All right, one of the first things that might be also uncommon, you need to put a coin in your cart. Now it's unlocked. Time to get that euro back at the end. In a German supermarket, you'll find the standard items like flour, eggs, rice, and water. Although a lot of sparkling water if you're into that sort of stuff. But there are also some unique things which we want to show off. Curry ketchup. You can't have currywurst without curry ketchup or curry sauce. Also very delicious on fries. They sell it in these huge bottles everywhere. Paprika chips. If you like chips, I hope you like paprika flavor. It is probably the most popular chip flavor offered here in Germany, and it's pretty good. And while we're here, there are also peanut flavored puffs that have the texture of Cheetos, but the flavor of peanut butter. It's interesting. Quark. This is a dairy product that can be used as a spread or a dip. It has a mild flavor and it's creamy and the Germans love it on their bread slices in the morning. While we're in the dairy aisle, Stinke Käse or Stinky Cheese is a unique one. This stuff smells so bad that every time you open your fridge, you will know there's some stinky käse inside. Milk. One thing you'll notice is that the milk is often not refrigerated like in the US. And they are usually in these cuboid cartons instead of a jug of milk. It will also be measured in liters and not gallons. And over the past few years, there has been an exponential growth in plant-based milk. Bread slicing machines. One thing that's in many Supermarkets in Germany is a bread slicer, so you can slice your fresh bread. There's usually fresh bread bread here, and you can just get it sliced. We're probably not gonna get one today since we're holding off on the bread a little bit, but uh, we've definitely done it before, and it's delicious. We couldn't let Lidl have all the fun, so we visited a few other nearby supermarkets to see what they had. Show me your favorite item. This eye poker. You poke your eggs. Eye pick. This is a machine. Poke a <laughs> hole in your egg before you boil it yeah. so it doesn't pop. It's incredible. Eggs that are not refrigerated. This might be strange to anyone from the US where eggs are required to be refrigerated, but not to worry, the eggs on shelves in Germany are safe to eat. There are just regulations throughout Europe that prioritize egg production opposed to post egg washing. Also, you'll notice that eggs are commonly in packs of 10 and not a dozen. White asparagus in jars. For 25 years, I thought this is the only way to have asparagus. It is ready to eat right from the jar. White asparagus or Weisser Spargel is seasonal and quite delicious, but these you can get all year round. You can even order white asparagus on pizza. Baking packets. If you bake, you'll notice that there are packets for baking powder, yeast, vanilla, creams, and so much more. The German recipes will even list out one packet of backpulver or baking powder as a required amount. Taking individual bottles. All right, this is actually very common in a German supermarket. You just rip the packages open and take single bottles, and that's why it looks like this. These are all empty packages. And it feels kind of weird to do that, but super normal. Very normal here. And also you have the apple schorle, the apple with the sparkling water mix, or the apple rhubarb, like the German's favorite summer drink. Rhubarb. Rhubarb. And for more drinks, you can get alcohol in supermarkets here. Beer, wine, even spirits, it's all in one place. You don't have to go to another store to get your favorite beer or whiskey. Regular supermarket, and then here's the harder liquor stuff. Bourbon. Some Greek ouzo, no problem. Romancini. Yummy. There's gin. Yogurt. 
And there's the vodka down there, premium vodka. 879 the whole bottle. Wow. Also, we found this Duff beer and I just had to buy it. Fish in jars is also a thing. You might be used to canned tuna, but take a delicious fish roll that's slightly pickled right from the jar and put it on a bread roll. Yummy. One thing you can get is all the German snacks and candy, the latest and the greatest. Peanut butter knoppers. I really like these rice crispy things. Ooh. No name Dickmans, those are also here. A lot of good stuff. It's dangerous. <laughs> Let's ride this sweet train over to the frozen section and spaghetti ice. This ice cream dessert is in the shape of spaghetti and it is a very common thing here in Germany. When I first visited, I thought it was a bit strange, but it tastes nothing like spaghetti and it's a very fun way to enjoy vanilla and strawberry flavors. Before we continue looking at weird things, we need you to like the video and subscribe to our channel. It's free. Thank you. If you want to further support us, you can become a channel member or support us on patreon.com slash Phil, where we make additional videos. And we want to say a big thank you to our family tier patrons. A big, big thank you to Marcus Odensman, Fred42, Ethan Mitchell, Heather Kuffner, Hessen Matro, Shar Mills, Tarek Malkosh, Stephanie Vend, Jörg Michels, Megan Rosati, Shannon Bradley, Klaus Eisart, Lee Lim, Robert J. Casper, Roger Lupka, Julia Van Gruber, Marian E. Demet. Now back to the video. In Germany, we like our packaged meats. You will find an assortment of blood sausage, wurst, met, and something else called Wurstsalat. This sausage salad is a chopped mortadella type of meat in some type of cream or mayonnaise and pickles. Pretty weird. Tampons without applicators. If you're coming from the US, this might seem strange, but it is very difficult to find tampons with applicators in Germany and a lot of other countries around the world. These tampons tend to be smaller and easier to carry around. Also, they use less plastic overall. All right, so we just made it home. We bought some of the weirder things. We bought some of the non-weird things. The necessities. Those were some items that I always found super normal growing up here in Germany and took Diana to come here to show me that they're not normal everywhere. Yeah, some of them are pretty unique, but let us know what's unique or weird in your country. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Paprika chips. Bye. <laughs>